Morning, folks. We're starting today out by hauling a little manure. We're gonna preg check some heifers today. The vet's coming, and we're also hoping to try some soybean harvest today. We got a field we think will go. Dead finished up, fourth cutting of alfalfa. I think we got 12 bales off of this. Now we're spreading it thick with manure. And next spring, I believe, we'll be uh, planting it to sorghum to cut for silage. Be a great location for silage. After we finish that pile, then we're coming in this feedlot to get this pile. There's some other really big piles. We're not gonna get it all done this morning. That's a decent pile. That'll take a while. This is gonna be our last load for the day, at least for now. Uh, we gotta get working on some other stuff. We are right about halfway done with the field. Get in. Did you get in the pickup? <laughs> Trying to bite me, huh?
Well, our vet is going to be showing up a little bit earlier, so we don't have time to get the combine out to the field. So we're going to have to preg check first, ultrasound, and then it'll be about 3 o'clock or so, and then we'll get combine in. I think there's about 80 critters here we're gonna ultrasound. The open ones, just like last year, we're hoping to uh, get them processed and put them on farmergrade.com for you folks if you wanna buy sunny raised and finished beef. And we'll just have to see how many ended up not getting bred. I got the Gallagher scale head here. Just wanna kinda get a feeling of where they're at so we can figure out timing when we think they will be ready to go to the processor. Quit coming out. Let's go. There. Take your time. Take your time. Come on, Missy. How long would it take to finish something like that? Do you assume about three pounds a day? About 2.8 to 3.2 pounds a day. All right. So 100 days, about. Well, what's your what's your goal? 1,400. 3 Hey, get your butt out of there. Hey, dear. Get your butt out of there, hey. 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 Get you saw it. You saw it. Come on. Boop, 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 boop. 
Whoop, 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 whoop. Weighing 1132 today. One of my own home raised open. It will be hopefully going to a locker for you folks. A lot of them were weighing about 1050. You know, there's one or two that weighed just under a thousand. They're still well within the weight range we'd want them to be for a cabin in February, March, April, May, you know. Some of them were getting up close to 1,200 pounds, but we ended up with 11 heifers that are open that we're gonna fatten out. I think with the weight they're at, it's gonna be until about December till they'll be at that fat weight. We did six critters last year. Steaks sold out in less than 24 hours, so hopefully we'll have a little bit better stock with 11 versus six. And dad corrected me, we have 12 open heifers, so more meat for y'all. And we'll keep you updated on that. There dad goes with the combine, we are bringing a header. We're gonna try some beans, we think they're plenty dry in this field. We got too excited. We were hitting some pretty good beans and then we got into a weedy spot. Well, we've been plugged for about 40 minutes, still working on it. On the bright side, our soybean yield is 5,853. So, we got that going for us. I reshaped the skin on my hands today. Oh. Uncle Jeff brought the grain cart. I reckon we are gonna dump and then go get a semi. The yield looks decent, could be worse. That's for sure. Uh, we did plug that tailings uh, the dirty return again I got a I got a blister looking thing here one on this finger one on this thumb I don't know I kind of think the clutch on that elevator is not as tight as it once was get some here every time My mother told my dad she would like him to eat this banana before it gets worse. Dad doesn't think he wants to eat it, but I'm thinking if I get it to him when it's getting late in the day in the combine and that's all you got, it might be a nice snack. He just might change his mind. He's got the side panel open and he's digging out that dang thing again. We've got about three blisters on each hand. This isn't sustainable. Is now a bad time to tell you I brought the old banana for you? Yeah, it was. It was a bad time.
that's how much field we've gotten done. We should be closer to half, but we're at about maybe 15%. That's the speed of a combine operator that does not want to get out and spin that rotor backwards and get in and out of the cab ten times and get more blisters on your fingers. I do believe we're at max capacity. Our big 1050 metric tires are squatting. I wonder if I should check the air pressure in that thing. Well, there's the first load of beans, uneven load, might I add. Dad's going to just run by himself, fill the grain cart, which will be enough for another semi-load tomorrow morning. We're going to call it a deal. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. Love to see you next time. Have a good one.